Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Meet me, your host, Alan, uh, for today, and my, your other host, Alan, for today. And uh, that's going to be uh, my clone for today, who's a uh, technological experiment gone wrong. He just basically keeps repeating and nodding his head and reading books. And basically reads the same book and drinks a lot of orange soda. Um, so basically, uh, today, uh, before we start the show, I want to mention that my clone is here because Thomas was sick and don't know what he has, probably like H1N1. Um, don't know yet. So, uh, so yeah, so we don't have a second co-host to do it by myself, so I would like you to call in and comment on uh, the show or comment on uh, a computer question or ask a computer question, uh, 265-6310. And we're going to be uh, starting out basically with our first segment, which is keyboard shortcuts. Um, so we have a video to show you, if you could roll that video. And he's finding the vid, finding the vid, there you go. And, okay. <laughs> so I'll just keep talking. Um, so, um, basically, like I said, I, the keyboard shortcuts are basically limited down to, um, I don't know, what, what would you call it? You had that, do you have that video, John? The keyboard shortcut? Oh, there it is, it's playing now. Okay, there you go. Uh, you have your shortcuts, F1 for help, Alt-Tab for switching between the open programs. Alt plus F4 equals to quit program. Shift plus delete equals delete an item permanently. Windows logo, so Windows the Windows logo plus the L equals to lock the computer. Windows program key combinations, Control C is copy, Control X is cut, Control V is paste, be your basic ones. Control Z is undo, that's basically for your word. Um, control uh, B is bold, and Control U is underlined. Control I is italicized. Keyboard and other. Shift plus delete equals delete item. Uh, F1 starts Windows help. Control tab equals switch between, switch the next uh, window on your start menu. Uh, control Alt F4 closes the current window. F5 refreshes the current window, usually in Internet Explorer or any kind of Internet Explorer you have. Windows 7 shortcuts, these are special shortcuts for your Windows 7. Uh, Windows logo T cycle through the programs and the taskbar. Windows logo plus spacebar preview in the desktop. Windows logo plus P plus P, choose a presentation display mode uh, if you have multiple monitors or something like that. Shift Windows logo plus number start a new instant instance of the program pinned in the taskbar. Okay, well that's basically it. Uh, basically the last ones I mentioned were the special Windows 7 ones. And um, well, that's only if you have Windows 7, Windows 7, Windows RC7. Uh, there's, there's the new ones like um, if you have all your things that are pinned on the taskbar, or yeah, call it taskbar still. All things that are pinned on the uh, taskbar, or the start, yeah, the taskbar. In the taskbar you uh, say, yeah, let's say you have your folder first pinned on the taskbar. It will open up your folder. You say you say start menu, uh, the start button plus uh, the start button on your keyboard plus one would bring you to your first open cat tab that's pinned on the thing. Or let's say you have you don't have it pinned on your tab, but yet you have it on the taskbar on the taskbar. Uh, it would it's still gonna open it. So if you have three things pinned and then you have a fourth thing that's open as on your taskbar, and you say oh we have a call. Hello, welcome. Let's talk tech. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> that was cool. Um, yeah, feel free. Call, hang up. I don't care. Because <laughs> you're at least giving us a call. That gives the guts. Okay. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Hello. Okay, cool. That is another good caller that's got guts to call me in. And call at WPA and same caller. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech, Silent Caller. Once again, Silent Caller. So he's just going to keep calling until I continue with my thing. So basically, like I said, I have my clone here. So basically back to the, the uh, taskbar, task menu. Um, so basically your shortcuts are basic. Uh, when, uh, when you're in Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office, 
specifically Microsoft Office, Office, uh, Notepad. Um, depends on how basic the version is. If you want to bold your text, you select the text, press Control B, it will bold text automatically. Uh, control I is the control to italicize. So just select your text and click Control I, Control B. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, to center something, I didn't put that up there, but to center the object is um, to, uh, I don't know, you have to look them up. They're, they're, uh, there's so many of them, I just don't know them all. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out the new ones for Windows 7. Hello. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I'm just going to keep answering the phone. This is going to be fun. Um, so anyway, so as I was saying, pretty basic. Um, it, it, all, your, all your shortcut menus are going to be in the toolbar. Um, if you have something before Office 7. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech once again. So basically you're just going to keep, you just basically go into your files, um, go into your file menu and uh, it's going to display it right there. Uh, your refresh is F5. So basically all that. Um, so basically you're just going to keep refreshing the, it's it, it, F5 is the refresh. It's all basically the same thing. Um, it's like I said, it's all in your menus. Um, your paste, control V. It's pretty simple. Um, once if you go through, it takes time to uh, study it and everything. Um, but that's some of the new ones for Office 7 um, or for Windows 7. Uh, Office, I don't think has any, Office 2007, I don't think has any new ones out. Uh, and then, oh, and John, if you want to keep playing that video in the background, you can do that too. No, we can't. Oh, we can't? Okay, cool. <laughs> because then your, your other person will be erased. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so basically, um, basically, it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty simple. It's all in there. Uh, if you're using Office on 7 and you want to know the shortcuts for 7, um, I do have a link on the page, which is letstalktech.co.cc. Um, I'll put it up on the screen eventually. Um, and you go to that site, and I have, if you go into links, cool links, there is a section of cool links under that. So basically, you, um, you just go on that link, click there, and it should bring you to the cool links section. And um, it will just bring you to the list of shortcuts. So that's pretty basic right there. Um, if you want any more, let's see, what else is there? Like I said, Control V. Uh, I didn't know Control X. Uh, Control Z is the undo. Um, Alt Tab, Alt Tab and Control Tab. I did not realize those were the same either. Alt Tab and Control Tab. They are they they are to switch between your next program that is currently open, not on your taskbar. Um, so if you have a uh, if you have Excel and you have if you have Microsoft Office Excel. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Okay, it's cool. Anyway, it's all good. <laughs> so, basically, um, crap, now I lost my train of thought. Anyway, so basically you go into, uh, you have Excel open and you have Microsoft Word open. You say Alt-Tab, it will go into, and you're currently in Word, it will go to Excel. And then after, if you press that button again, it will go into, um, if you press the button again, it will go into the desktop menu and it will show you just the desktop. So um, basically, it okay. takes, takes a little bit of time. But uh, OK, we have a call. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Hey. Hey. Hey, what up, Tom? Oh my god, I've called like a million times. Yeah, I keep hanging up on you. Thanks, Al. Thank you. I know, I tried to say something. It was like it was muted. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, well, we have Thomas on the phone, which is supposed to be on the show today, but as you can tell with his horrid cough, that he is not on the show. Tom, what would you like to say? <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you to put some more emotion into it. You look like you're dead. Well, you know, I don't have a co-host with me. Oh, uh, yeah. That's... I just have this clone here that I'm not really going to be talking to. It's kind of dumb. I'm sorry. Hey, that was Eric's idea. Eric, <laughs> your idea is kind of dumb. <laughs> um, um, dude, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he looks. He looks. He looks better up there than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have two Allens than a Thomas. <laughs> well, thanks, Eric. Well, Tom, we were gonna have Tom Dancy on, but Tom Dancy uh, said he didn't want to be my co-host, so. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, so that's all good. So do you want to say anything else about... Uh, the shortcuts? Yeah, shortcuts. Because I'm kind of like dry here. Um, I've used all that for a lot. Just to close pages really fast. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was currently talking about. Whatever reason, I don't know. Yeah, uh, like the like I said, the Alt F4. I was uh, they have the new one, Tom. Now I was talking about the Windows Seven one. Yeah, the that where you switch the, between the taskbar. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's uh, Control One, Control Two, Control Three. Okay, Tom. Thanks for calling. If you want to say anything else. Nah, I'm alright. Okay, thanks a lot. Go back to your RuneScape playing. I'm playing Counter Strike. Counter Strike. My bad. Yeah. Well, good luck on that. Yeah, I will. Okay, bye. Well, that was Tom, our my co-host, my host, the second host of this show. If you want to call him a co-host or not, whatever. Hello. Welcome. Let's talk tech. Hello. Hello. You're on the air. You're on the air. What are you? Wow. You guys are like. Why do you guys keep muting it? Not. You're not? What are you guys doing? But she kept talking like five times. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna like mute the phone because like the phone's kind of pissing me off at the moment. Tom tried to call them like five times, couldn't talk. <laughs> 10 times, my bad, my bad. Hello? Hello? Hello, are you, you're on the air. Yeah, I was wondering, what is this? What is the show? Yeah. It's supposed to be a tech show with a uh, co-host that didn't show up today. Oh, uh, I, bye. Okay, bye. That was our most interesting call we had, except for the guy that called asking us how to get to the government access channel. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty cool episode. Anyway, so that's where basically, the, that's, basically wraps up your keyboard shortcuts because that's just there. It's basically given to you. Uh, you go on Google, you could search all the different ones. You could search all different kinds of the uh, shortcuts, new shortcuts, Windows 7 shortcuts. I did not include Mac shortcuts. I'm very sorry. I do not know if Mac has shortcuts. Like I said, I've not messed around with Mac. I don't know anything about Mac. So uh, if there's Mac shortcuts, you could Google those as well. Like I said, on the site, let's talk tech.co.cc. Okay, we have another caller. Hello, welcome, let's talk tech. Hello. Hello. Um, do you go to Shein? Yes. Oh, do you have the Shein football game results up here? Sorry, that's hysterical sports job. That's not mine. Do you know what channel that is? That would be this channel, but that's not the right time at the show. There are shows. I think it's on Thursdays. On Thursdays? Thursdays. Tuesdays, my bad. Okay. What about that kid next to you? What is he doing? The kid next to me is me as a clone. Well, why does he keep repeating what he's doing? Because uh, we filmed me before the show uh, doing random acts of stupid stuff because my co-host is not here. Oh, who's your co-host? Wow, this is going to be a good conversation. Um, my co-host is Thomas. Are you making fun of me? Very possible. That's not nice. Well, I'm trying to answer your question the best way possible. Oh, so do you like doing this? The show, yes. Does it get boring? At this moment, yes. Why at this moment? Because this could be a very boring moment when I am continually going on to with one conversation. That's Meanie. weird. Okay, have a nice day. Okay, well that was, that beat the record for the last call that we had, that beat the record of the last call that we had about the government channel. So that's a winner, congratulations. Okay, we have another caller, probably the same caller. Hello, welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, you're on the air again. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what 
Once again, this is the most interesting show. Hey, we've So, once again, this is the most interesting show we've had because I don't have a co-host. So, once again, I'm going to go commercial because I'm out of stuff to talk about with, le with keyboard shortcuts. So, we'll go to commercial at the moment. You can still call in during the commercial. If you call in about stupid stuff, I don't really don't give a crap. I'm just going to avoid your question. Anyway, so let's go to commercial. Thank you, John. <laughs> The following is a public service announcement. Hi, I'm John Michael, host of Creation. Today I'd like to talk about recycling. Can we really make a difference? Each year, I use approximately 480 plastic bags from the grocery store. In the past, I've just thrown them out. Since starting my show Creation, however, I've come to realize that my habits are harming Mother Earth. So this year, I took an oath to go green in every possible way and to help promote a better understanding of what recycling really is. Why? Because I can make a difference. Now each time I go to the grocery store, I bring back my used plastic bags, a free service the stores provide us to help save creation by recycling our used plastic bags to make new ones. Did you know that over 380 billion plastic bags are thrown in the trash each year, ending up in our landfills? And cities spend up to 17 cents per bag in disposal costs, thereby wasting millions of tax dollars. What are you doing to save creation? Help reduce waste. Please recycle your plastic bags. On behalf of creation, thank you. The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. There is me and me hosting the show today. Uh, my clone over here that, oh, uh, he is moving. Okay, cool. Okay, we have another caller, which is going to be good. Hello, welcome, Let's Talk Tech. This is a good call. Silent calls. I have, one of my favorite actually is because they actually call the station to let me know that they're watching my show, which means a lot to me because it, because I really don't know if anyone actually watches. So, and I'm glad that people watch just to know that uh, that I get to know that they're watching um, for their own enjoyment or my enjoyment. Um, so basically, uh, this segment, we're gonna be talking about Google Chrome OS, which is a segment I could talk about rather than the keyboard shortcuts. That, yeah, that's kind of boring. Hello, welcome back to the silent Let's Talk Tech. Hi, I have a question. Yep. Can I join you on your show? We've had, uh, yes! okay, cool, Tyler. Um, yes! We've had uh, opportunities where we have, me and my co-host have considered bringing people on the show. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm a good talk show host. Well, that would need to be proven. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know things about computers? That would be said well, considering the fact that I'm on a tech show doing... Yeah, finish. So basically, I'm on a tech show. If you want to be on the, if you want, would you like, it, if you would like to be on the show, you'd have to email us at the email listed on the screen right now. Okay. Um, I have a question about my computer. Okay. It's an HP. Yep. And um, I moved it around in my room, and the Ethernet wire got unplugged. So then I plugged it back in, 
and the internet wouldn't work, and now my screen won't turn on, like the monitor. Well, that is a problem. Yeah, do you think it has viruses or something? It wouldn't be a virus. That's a hardware problem. Uh, did you move the monitor at all? No. You just moved the CPU. The PC on the bottom. Yeah, CPU. Um, on the bottom, you plugged the ether and did the monitor. Oh, then your problem's not the fact that you plugged the Ethernet line back in and the monitor didn't work. Um, it's the fact that you plugged the monitor back in and it just didn't work. Yeah, that happens to me constantly. Um, and like you get a black um, black screen and it tells you that it can't find the display image. Yeah. Yeah, um, happens to me constantly. Um, I doubt your driver's your uh, graphics card went bad. Uh, could be the fact that you're not plugging it in properly. Like you could not be plugging it in all the way. Or do you have t the other option is how many graphics cards do you have on the computer? I don't know. Well, that's that's what you need to find out. There's um, if there's two ports for your monitor you plugged into, you need to plug it into the other port and try that. They're already plugged in though. Yeah, well, if there's two ports, try plugging into the other port. What, what, where's the other part? The other port would be in the back of the computer, not unless it's an external TV card, which I don't think they exist. No, it's, the wires are plugged into the back of the monitor, not the back of the computer. There's but one wire. But you said you unplugged the monitor from your computer. Unplug it? You, you said you did unplug it. No, I didn't. You just unplugged the Ethernet wire. Right. And now the monitor doesn't work. All no, of a sudden. Okay, ready? Listen. I move my computer. Mm hmm. And the PC is like on the floor, like on the bottom. Mm hmm. And the Ethernet wire in the back of it, I was trying to move it to like plug underneath my, um, on my floor. Mm hmm. And, um, I don't know, something went wrong. And I called up Comcast. Well, Comcast um, can't do anything about that. What's that? Comcast can't do anything about that. That's a. No, they. I asked them about my internet, and they asked. They told me to um unplug the modem wires and the router and everything, and I did. And then he got me to the part where my screen was black with a little white flashing line in the corner of the screen. And then you tried to unplug the computer, and then you just monitor doesn't work no more. Where do I unplug the computer? In the back of the PC or the monitor plug? The back of the computer. All right. I'm going to do this now, step by step, because my computer doesn't work for a week now. If worse comes to worse, just try a different TV card. Try having someone install a different TV card, test TV cards out. Okay. It'd probably, my best bet would probably be your TV card. You don't know what you're talking about. All right. Yeah, so uh, maybe just like take it to, um, I don't know, uh, go to... Uh, Okay, go to Best Buy, and you could get a different TV card, uh, I mean, a video card. Video card, my bad, Tyler. Uh, get a video card and plug that into your computer and see if that works. But I don't think it's the video card. It could just be a different uh, misconnection or something, anything like that. Or you could try uh, opening up the computer and making sure the TV card is, uh, I mean, the video card, my bad, I keep saying TV card. The video card is plugged in all the way. Sometimes it gets loose. If it's not, uh, where, where is that card? The card is inside the computer. If you open up the case, but if you do anything with the inside of the computer, make sure the computer is off and unplugged in the back. Um. Wait. What's that question on the screen? Do you want me to come to your house and fix it? That would be our crack staff in the back. That is completely idiotic. Wait, and do they go to our school? No, they don't. No, I'm sorry, they don't. I think they're uh, a bit too old for that, but they should be going back to high school. Oh, um, well, can I give you a call back in like five or ten minutes? Yeah, try right? try unplugging try unplugging the monitor from the back of the computer. Okay. And then plug it back in, and give me a call back later on this number, and then we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you so much. Yep. Bye. -bye. Okay. Google Chrome. That was a very long, interesting call. Okay. Welcome. To Let's talk tech. You're live on the air in silence. That was awesome. Thank you once again for calling. I'm glad you guys called because now I just don't know if you uh, if anybody watches and now I know that the same per person watches. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech.
Silent Caller. This is awesome. Anyway, Google Chrome. Google Chrome OS and Google Chrome Web Browser. Basically, next week, we are going to have a Google Chrome week. So, so to say, like we had Green Day, but it's going to go much better. Uh, Google Chrome operating system is not out yet, but it should be coming out soon. So, in, within the next year, but the um, but the uh, the trial, the release trial um, candidate is coming out within the next week or two. The problem with that I have with Google Chrome is that okay. Uh, oh, really? So, do you want to do video? Okay. Okay. Cool. Stop talking to people that aren't on screen. Okay. Cool. Um, I gotta stop talking to people that are, aren't on the screen. Anyway, <laughs> so um, basically, Google Chrome. We're going to talk about it next week. Google Chrome is an operating system based on the internet only. If you use Google Chrome web browser, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Google Chrome. Okay. Welcome. Let's talk tech. My computer keeps on shutting down. It keeps on shutting down by itself. Yeah. It shuts down by. It, are you turning it on and then it just shuts down? Yeah. What screen does it go to? Does it go to a screen at all? It goes to black. It goes to black screen and then it asks you to restart it or does it just turn off? Yeah. It just turns off? Yeah. That would be a corruption in the operating system, probably. Like, where would I go to fix it? I would take it to a computer repair company because there, uh, there's nothing you can really do to fix that by yourself. You'd have to uh, reinstall an operating system. Could be something in the BIOS, but the BIOS, um, I don't recommend uh, that you mess around with that either. Um, uh, probably you'd probably want to bring it to a computer repair shop because I cannot fix that over the phone. That would be a more difficult question. Yeah, because we have to wrap our cord around the computer. And what, what? why do you think the computer's shutting itself off? Do you have any idea? No. Yeah, like I said, if you, like, I can't really say anything because, like, there's a lot of things that could be wrong with that. Well, my mom is, like, going freaky out because she thinks I broke it and put a virus on it. No, if you create a virus, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't go to a black screen and then turn off. It would most likely loot, boot up the operating system, and you wouldn't get the virus's um, re uh, reaction or actions to the. Uh, you wouldn't get the actions to the virus until you turn the computer on all the way and logged in. Okay. So it wouldn't be a virus, but it could be a. I don't know, maybe a preform of a virus. I have no idea. Like I said, there's a lot of things. I'd take it to a computer re computer repair company. Well, we did, but it didn't work. Wow, and they, wow, okay, that's weird. Yeah, I really don't. a virus on it. Yeah, I really, I really don't know what to tell you besides load a new operating system on there. Okay. Okay. I gotta go eat dinner. Bye. Bye. Okay, we have like two minutes left in the show. I think, right? Is that right? Uh, so two minutes left in the show. Like one, minute. one minute left in the show. Uh, we don't have time for you, caller. I'm very sorry. Um, so uh, so basically, we're going to go to our ending, our next week segment. Uh, our next week segment is Google Chrome and break. Google Chrome week. Like I said, we're doing Google Chrome week. We're going to talk about the operating system and the browser and see what they have in common and if the br uh, if the operating system is going to be any good. Uh, the break is, we're taking a break. Next week is our last show, and that's it for the winter. Uh, we're going to be back in March. So thanks for watching Let's Talk Tech. All you have seen will be on our website, letstalktech.co.cc.